as a pos- excuse me. <laughs> as a podcaster, I interview people. I think basically, not as a podcaster, as a taxi driver, I've done over eleven thousand. I think it's eleven thousand one hundred and twenty-seven or thirty-seven journeys I've done, and probably ninety percent of them I have a conversation with one way or another, whether it's small talk or in depth or things like that. And as a podcaster, I've done over a thousand episodes. I always ask people their profession, whether I interview them or not. Because I'm inquisitive, I'm I'm a nosy bastard, really. But but no, on the serious note, I'm always interested in who who I've got in the back of the car, what they do, what's going on. Maybe I can learn something from Just as Abraham Lincoln said, you learn from everybody, even if it's not what to do. So I'm very happy to learn like a sponge, really, to soak up. One question I always ask people is, would you do it all again? Now, that question is open because it could be talking about marriage, it could be talking about career, it could be talking about many things, even having children. But I, let's, let's focus on the career. Now, when I ask that question, I get one of three responses. The people who love their profession straight away go, yes, definitely. The ones who don't like it, no, no, I just, I, I need to change. I know I need to change. And, and the ones who are in the middle are like, they pause, they think, and then they respond. But by the time they've, if you have to think about what you've been doing for the last 20, 15 years, whether you like it, then you really know that you don't like it. And you, just, <laughs> you shouldn't have to be thinking about it like that when you ask if you do it all again. Now, the only reason I'm talking about this is because what puzzles me is why people don't change. It makes perfect sense to change. It... Because it's like, we go to school, we go to college, some of us, and some of us even go to university. And it's usually the nine to fivers, the career people who fall into a career and they never get out. And I speak to lots of bankers and they all say, oh, I just wanted to play the violin, or I wanted to cook, or I wanted to own my own restaurant. But because they're trying to keep up with the Joneses at work and they've committed their children to these boarding schools and they've gone to the most prestigious one even if they can't really afford it and they have to be seen to have their kids in all these ballet and all these other things it's like they haven't changed and that always puzzles me so this is just um i've changed my career on four different occasions started off as a mechanic then went into body work then I left the body work and I went into in constru- commercial construction from commercial construction went to the military military went to private security like working on the high seas for five years then had my own businesses in East Africa and then I've come back here and yes I'm doing a taxi driver there's a stepping stone point being it's just, just get up and change make that change especially if you've got a partner don't waste your life being unhappy, unhappy, and thinking I wish, I wish I'd done this. I should have, could have, would have, and things like that. Don't do it. Do what you could do in that respect. You know.